time for Hot Topic Tuesday. And tonight we are talking about the upcoming election and mental health. Joining me now is Dr. John Gavazzi, a clinical psychologist. Thank you for being here. So we are just over two months away from Election Day and an annual mental health poll from the American Psychiatric Association revealed when it comes to the election, 73 percent had cited that that's the cause for their anxiety. What are you seeing in your practice? Well, not just with my practice, but with my friends as well. So anytime that you perceive something to be a threat, and for people, the election could possibly be a threat, whether it's ambiguity, not knowing what the future holds, or in fact, that they're going to be harmed in some way, that the government will be radically transformed or people will lose their rights. So we respond to psychological threats the same way that we respond to physical threats, which basically means the old fight or flight response. So we just get a deluge of adrenaline that goes through our system. And so that's what we're dealing with when we're dealing with stress. We're dealing with a lot of adrenaline going through our system. What are the signs you should look out for? Well, again, thinking about this as a massive adrenaline dump, we Americans have a hard time with sleep to begin with. Roughly 30% of Americans struggle with sleep. So sleep disturbance is one. So if your sleep is disturbed, energy level goes down motivation goes down, you're not thinking quite right. So concentration, uh, attention to tasks, completing tasks, all of those could p potentially be compromised. Some people eat to self-soothe. Some people when they're stressed out can't eat at all. So fluctuations in weight are also signs and symptoms to look out for, as well as your own just irritability, shortness, uh, with other people. And the holidays will be coming, there'll be gatherings, by then we should know who won the election, but there could still be some political conversations at the dinner tables. What would you suggest for people when they're doing all those holiday gatherings? Well, that's a really tough one because uh, the old saying is, birds of a feather flock together. And so we all belong to our own groups. So just belong, because you belong to a certain political group doesn't mean that overlaps with your genetic group or your family. So there could be a lot of differences there. So uh, one way to deal with this is to set healthy boundaries. So talk to people ahead of time and say, hey, look, no politics at the table, or we're going to not focus on that this year. Uh, so that's one suggestion. If people still bring up politics, do not engage, because no one has been able to change someone else's mind in a very heated discussion. Yeah, and real quick, what are some tips for us? Probably stay off social media. <laughs> stay off social media, right. Do again all of your good self-care things. Get to bed at a regular time, eat healthy foods, exercise on a regular basis, and do a lot of diaphragmatic breathing. That helps. All right, thank you, Dr. John Gavazzi, for being here with us tonight. We'll be right back.